my Scrappy Ideas, and I'm so excited to be starting a new series here on my YouTube channel. So this series is going to be called Sketches Three Ways or More. So the idea behind this new series is to feature a sketch each month. So June is going to be Creative Scrappers um, June Sketch here by Christine Davidson. I'm a part of their design team, and so this was a sketch that I've already done, and so this is where I'm going to be starting this month. But each month I will feature a new sketch and we'll create it pretty much true to the sketch and then in the following weeks I'll be sharing how you can change sketches up so that you can get more from one single sketch. You can get you know a lot of mileage out of the sketch. So I encourage you to hop over to Creative Scrappers. She has a large large database of free sketches that you can play along with. And if you want to play along with this one in June there are some prizes up from Jelly Bean Soup so be sure to check that out. And if you're a subscriber here on my YouTube channel, then you've already seen the first layout that I created with this sketch. And this is the layout here, and I stayed pretty true to the sketch, um, only changing up just a few minor things. So you can watch this process video and see everything and my decisions on how I created this layout. And be sure also to hop on over to my blog and subscribe there, because I'll have more details and information and links to the products that I use, uh, links to the sketches, and I will try to set up a Pinterest board with the sketches that I'm going to create with each month, so you can be sure to check those links out and subscribe to that Pinterest board. So today I'm working with this sketch again, and I'm going to start with one of the most basic ways that you can change up a sketch, and that's with your photos. So this sketch has two 3x4 landscape photos. But you notice if you drew a line on each side here, you could easily come up with like a four by six photo. And so that's what I'm working with today. I have a four by six photo that's matted. And if you'll notice here on the mat too, I drew inspiration from the sketch. So the white is an even border all the way around the photo, but the pink has a little bit wider border on the sides than it does top and bottom. And I drew that from the inspiration of the sketch. If you notice this background piece has a small border on the top and the right hand side and it's a little bit wider on the left and the bottom. As well as this inside background piece has that same offset of the borders. And so I wanted to recreate kind of that idea of this sketch and pull it into my new layout. So that's why I kind of did that. And so these are the papers that I've pulled. And then I also have, I pulled this away, I have this sheet here that's already been used and I'm just gonna trim this away and use that as my smaller background piece here. And then I have the turquoise and I have some border strips. So I'm also gonna be changing up the sketch in a few other ways. For today, the main focus is changing the amount of photos or the sizes of photos on your sketches. So when you're looking at sketches, if you're one that starts with photos, don't overlook those sketches that have two photos or more or whatever. Look at the basic elements of your sketch, the background pieces and how you could possibly change that up. So I just encourage you with this series to play along with me. I would love to see your layouts. You can link up on my Facebook page or Instagram and tag me, any of those. So all of my information will be down below. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'm going to get this put together and then we'll start embellishing and talk about ways that you can change up your sketches. So I've got my background all adhered and I added some gold glimmer trim here and I just matched up these two border strips so that the plaid matched up so that I have a wider strip and then a little bit narrower down to the smallest here. Now I'm ready to put my photo and I have my photo and I went ahead and put some foam onto the back so that I can pop it up and then I've stamped some images. Um, this image is from this stamp set here and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted, so I stamped it in different colors on different ones of the pattern papers, but I ended up liking it stamped on this turquoise color in the turquoise ink. So that's the one that I'm going to stick up there, and that's following the sketch. It has a little label there. And then for the sketch, it had two tags that are coming out. So I don't want to add tags. I wanted to do something else. So what I've decided is I took another stamp set. This is the flower right here. 
and I wanted to ink it up. It's got quite a few different flowers and leaves, and so what I did for it is take my inks. So I just picked out coordinating colors. I took sponge daubers. So here's my little case of sponge daubers, and I just have um, them labeled up. Took the sponge daubers, daubed on all of the colors, and then you can breathe on it to reactivate and moisten those colors up. And I stamped it. So I actually stamped a couple of different ones. This is the one that I've fussy cut out and I'm going to use. And then I had this one where I did more of the pink colors. Didn't quite like that, so I stamped it again with more yellow. Um, but most of that's going to go up behind the photo, so it doesn't really matter. But just stamped that a couple of times and then fussy cut it out. I put foam tape under just a little bit of it. Part of it's going to go flat to the layout. Um, since I have a person in the photo here, I want it to go underneath the photo. I don't want to cover up her face. Um, depending on what your photo is, you could tuck it up underneath the mats, but I don't want it to look like it's growing out of her head or anything. So it's just going to go behind there in place of those two tags in the sketch. And then I will add some journaling and my title. I'm going to go ahead and keep my title down here and do some journaling and then we'll be ready for the final embellishments. So here's a look at the finished layout and the changes that I made to the sketch and we'll try to get the sketch in here so you can see. So I changed it from two photos to one photo. I enlarged the photo so it's not the small one but it's a large four by six. Instead of two pieces of paper here on this background, I added some border strips to create a division there instead of just one large piece. Instead of the tags, I just did a really large embellishment with some stamping. And I did keep with the little journal strips, but I did it in stickers and did away with the large embellishments because I have a large print pattern in the back here. The title I did extend out so that it's quite long and it goes down into this background. And instead of just the label here, I did add just a little bit of cluster embellishments on that side. So now I have a small embellishment and you can kind of go in the triangle here to see the focus of going into the photos. And again, if you want to see the first layout that I did, so you can tell it's changed up just a little bit and just enough that without it being, you know, it's not going to be side by side in my album that um, it's, well actually with these photos it's going to be quite far apart, but you wouldn't look at the layouts and go, oh, she's done that before, you know. And on this layout too, I also changed it up some where these were not lined up on top of each other, I offset them. So that's another change that you could do to the sketch depending on how your photos are. So I hope you enjoyed a look at that, the sketches three ways or more. And I'll be back next week with another layout using this sketch and changing it up in another form. So thanks so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this new series and whether it's something you're really interested in that you want to see more of and just any feedback that you have, I'd love to hear. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.